More growing pains for Oklahoma's booming pot industry. Growers, processors, and dispensary owners are getting an unexpected email saying if they don't agree to the terms, they can't open up shop. News 9's Brittany Tulis is talking to a dispensary owner who says they're now in a sticky situation. Mary Janes almost having their last dance. You had the option to accept or decline. But was accepting Metric's new user license agreement, or ULA, really an option? I had a client call me and say, this doesn't really feel like a choice. You can't operate in Oklahoma today moving forward unless you agree to this right now. You have the fear of not accepting it and going completely out of business today. The ULA, for the most part, is pretty standard, says cannabis attorney Cambry White. But there are two parts making her and those in the industry look That's twice. By law, metric the and first, its will not relieving metric of any liability any if its software fails. You are waiving your right to sue them. Including without limitation to damages for loss of goodwill, work stoppage, loss of profits, loss of data, and computer, uh, computer failure as well as malfunction. The issues causing those losses have been happening since the seed to sale implementation. They've been calling the OMMA, they've been doing the support emails. We get ticket after ticket after ticket after ticket. People are just dying and it hurts. If this software ends up, you know, costing you a significant amount of money and or your business, I think you have claims. I just don't know that they're against metric. Cambridge saying possibly OMA would be the defendant. OMA saying due to current litigation, they can't comment on anything to do with metric. What laws apply to this ULA? Also raising a red flag, saying it'll be Florida, not Oklahoma laws, that'll hold up in court. In Oklahoma, the judge is going to say, if Florida tells me those are unenforceable, but Oklahoma says they're enforceable, we would have to apply Florida law.